Real Dave, yay fee. Fiddle four, let's talk about the first four lines of this tune to start with. So instead of holding our bow the way that we are supposed to hold our bow, we're going to make that crazy lobster pincher bow hold. And we're going to put our thumb on the corner of the fingerboard so that our hand doesn't slide around. And while we're there, holding our bow with the tip up to the sky, we're going to take finger one and that's going to be our plucking finger. Okay, so you might have to work on this shape a little bit before you're ready to play this part. And all we're going to do, I'm going to hold my violin here to do this, I'm going to do some plucking on the D string. And this is the introduction and what we're going to do is we're going to go place, pluck, place, pluck, place, Pluck, place, pluck. We're going to do that a lot of times. You're going to watch me in the group class to see how many times we pluck. Okay? So it's always put your finger on the string, pull it off. Place, pluck, place, pluck, place, pluck. So that's how we get through that opening section. And again, anchoring that thumb onto your fingerboard so that your hand doesn't fly around. This way we know we can hit the D string with our pizzicato. After you see me pick up my bow, you're going to get your bow in hand with the good bow hold and you're going to go to the G string and you're going to play G, G, wait, wait, A, A, wait to the D string, D, D, wait, wait, Back to open G string and stay on that note and we're going to go one, two, three, four, G and then we repeat. We go G, G, wait, wait, wait to the D string, wait, wait, wait to the G string, wait, Wait, stay on that note, and one, two, three, four, G. And at this place, we're at the section uh, three, which is Okay, so we worked on that in that other video. Now we're going to look at what happens at the very end of this piece. So we're going to jump ahead to rehearsal marking four. Okay, so I'm going to be on my G string. I'm going to start with two G strings, but I'm going to get my second finger ready to land. So I'm going to go like this. Ready? In. G, G, wait, go. Wait, finger three. Stay there, go. Back to the open G. Finger two. Wait, and then third finger, we're going to play a third finger, low A, G. Now that section doesn't repeat. We just do that one time, but let's play through that again. This is rehearsal marking four or bar 32. Okay, so starting on open G string, and then we go to our second finger, which is called B. Ready? Go! G, G, wait, B. Get your third finger ready, and third finger, wait, go. Open G, ready, let's go. Second finger, go. And now we go to third finger, and we're going to play C, C, A, A, G. Beautiful. Okay, so that only happens once in the song. And then we're going to go to a, an open G string. And we're going to play a very quiet open G that's very long, but we're going to get louder as we go. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, finger one is going to be really loud. And I'm going to stay on finger one. I'm going to do the same thing again, really quiet to start. But get louder, ready, stay there, and shot. And then I go back to open G. Open G, one, two, three, four, and finger one. Okay? So that is the section at rehearsal number five. Um, so the trick there is we're going to start with a really slow bow, and then we get faster, and then we play what we call a shot on finger one. And then we stay on that note. We start really quiet. We get louder, and then a shot again on finger one. So the shots are always finger one on G, and then open G is quiet, get louder, get louder, and shot. 
shot on first finger. And then we do a little bit of waiting before we play our very last notes, which are just a really slow scale up from the G string. So we're going to play G, G, A. And we just hold that note until you see me release my bow. Those are all the puzzle pieces to Real des Vieilles Filles. And uh, now you need to work on this so that you're ready to play it when we can all meet together in person again. Thanks, everybody.